हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप सो यू ऑल मस्ट बी फिट एंड फाइन एट योर होम सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज वन न्यू लेसन फ्रॉम योर इंग्लिश टेक्स्ट बुक एंड द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज द स्टोरी ऑफ सिंधबाद द सेलर न हु इज सिंधबाद द स्टोरी ऑफ सिंधबाद एंड इज सेवन फेंटेस्टिक वॉइजेस appears in the huge collection of stories the book of 1001 nights or the arabian nights so there is one story book the name of the story book is arabian nights and from that arabian nights we are going to read one story of a man whose name was sindabad the story tells us that sindabad was a famous sailor who lived in Baghdad So we are going to learn about the man whose name was Sindabad and he was a famous sailor and he lived in the city of Baghdad Sailor means the person who sails on ships and boats Sindabad was honest generous and also he was very brave means he never told any lies he was very helpful and also he was very brave means he did not got frightened to anything he was very brave years the story of his first voyage so now we are going to learn that what has happened on his first voyage voyage means a trip on the ship in the sea sindabad set sail with a company of merchants on a big ship now sindabad he was setting on a sail means he was on the ship he was going with his company of merchants on work it was a very big ship from time to time they stopped at various ports now what is the meaning of ports ports means where the ships are packed on a big ship to work and after certain time after time to time they used to stop on the port port means the place where ship is packed and they used to get down there and they used to sell their things merchandise means goods or things which they used to sell and after that they used to buy new things for trade trading means buying and selling of goods one day when the ship was sailing smoothly across the sea they spotted a small island at a distance they had not seen land for many days and felt both surprised and happy to see the island now when they were moving on the sea they saw that there is one small island they got very happy because from many time they had not seen a island island means a place which is surrounded by water from all its four sides so they got very happy and they went near the island the captain of the ship allowed them to go there for a picnic everyone was excited on the island they strolled around sang and danced some people began to wash clothes some lit fires to cook meals now they were very happy and the captain captain means the one who is the leader on the ship he also told that yes you all can go and have a picnic over there so everyone got excited excited means everyone got very happy and when they got down on the island they began to sing and dance and they were moving around strolled means they were walking here and there and they were enjoying their self some people they were also washing their clothes on the island and also others were cooking tasty tasty food for the picnic soon a breeze sprang up the fires began to blaze 
Suddenly, the land began to shake and move. With a shock, the picnic party realized that the island was not an island at all. They were on the back of a huge sea monster and it had started moving. Now, when they were enjoying, the island started moving. And when it was moving, they came to know that it was a large sea animal and it was not an island. The breeze was spranging means the breeze was blowing very suddenly and fire began to blaze. Blaze means the fire was burning very fast. It was burning very strongly. People began to scream. They left their pots and pans, their clothes, both washed and unwashed and rushed back to the ship. The captain ordered his men to set sail immediately in order to move away from the monster. Now when the people came to know that it was a monster, it was a very big sea animal, so they all got frightened and they started to go back to their ship. They left all the pots, they left all the vessels over there. They did not even took their clothes and they started running back to the ship. And the captain told them that come on, hurry up fast, come and sit in the ship. We have to leave, otherwise the monster, he will catch us and we will not be able to move then. The sea monster plunge, plunged up, plunged deep into the sea. Many of the people managed to climb aboard the ship, but many sank into the sea with the so-called island. Now, what is the meaning of plunged? Plunged means to fall or jump. Means the sea monster, it was falling and jumping very strongly into the sea. Because of this, the people got frightened and they started climbing on the ship. Many of the people climbed on the ship, but some people, they drowned, they fall into the sea with the island. So called island means they also uh, go, went inside into the deep sea with the monster. Sinbad alone did not drown in the sea, but he could not reach the ship. He saw it sailing far, far away. He was now at the mercy of the waves. Being tossed here and there, he clung to a piece of wood and somehow managed to keep afloat. He spent the night alone at sea. Now, when the people were trying to go into the ship, Sinbad and other sailors, they fell into the sea. Also, Sinbad also f fell inside the sea and the ship went away. Now, Sinbad was at the mercy of sea, means no one was there to protect Sinbad. Sinbad was telling uh, that wherever the waves go, here and there, I will also go with the waves because now no one is going to come to save me. He got a piece of wood and with the piece of wood, he was floating in the sea and because of that, he did not drown inside उस वुड के पीस के वजह से वो अंदर नहीं डूब गया वो बच गया था विद द हेल्प ऑफ द वुड वुडन पीस ही स्पेंड द नाइट एट द सी व्हेन द नेक्स्ट डे डॉन्ड सिंबाद वाज हैप्पी टू सी दैट ही हैड फ्लोटेड नियर एन आइलैंड अ रियल बिग आइलैंड ही कुड सी हिल्स एंड वुड्स एंड ट्रीज एट अ डिस्टेंस Though he was extremely tired, he swam to the shore with all the strength that he could muster. Exhausted and hungry, he lay on the sand for some time. Then again he made an effort and began to walk inland towards the shady fruit trees that he could see at a distance. Now, when it was the Next day, when it was the next day, it was morning time, Sinbad became very happy because with the help of the wooden piece, he was near an island and this time the island was real and it was very big. Sinbad saw that the island was full of trees and hills. 
he was very tired because for the whole night he was inside the uh, water he was very hungry and tired that's why he was laying on the sand for some time so that he can take some rest after that again he began to walk inside the inland and after that when he moved inside he saw that there were fruit trees at a distance luckily this was the time when the king of that island sent his horses to the seashore with the grooms the grooms saw sinbad and gave him food and drink then they took him to the king at the time when sinbad was near the inland it was the time when the king's horses went near the seashore seashore means the place uh, which is uh, near the sea the land area so the horses went near the seashore with the grooms grooms means uh, grooms are the people who take care of the horses and the groom saw this uh, that sinbad was uh, standing there so what they did the grooms gave food and drink to sinbad and after that they took sinbad to the king the king was impressed by the way sinbad told him about what had happened he asked sinbad to stay with him and work as an officer of the king at the port now sinbad told whatever has happened with him because of this the king got very impressed impressed means he got very happy he felt very good about sinbad and the king told that sinbad you will stay with us and you will work as an officer at the port port means the place where ships are parked sinbad stayed there for a few days learning a lot from the king and the people on the island and in turn telling them about the other cities and ports that he had visited at the port sinbad often made inquiries about any ships coming from or going to baghdad but no such ship ever came to that port when sinbad was working on the port he used to ask the people that did you see any ship or did you see any ship going or coming from baghdad but the people told that they did not saw such ship that was coming or going to baghdad then one day a ship arrived at the island with a lot of merchandise sinbad was at kwe when the cargo from that ship was being unloaded he was surprised to see that his own name was marked on some of the boxes then he went to see the captain of the ship at first the captain could not believe that it was the same sinbad that they had seen drowning in the sea but when sinbad spoke to him face to face he recognized him he was overjoyed to see sinbad alive he gave him back all his merchandise now when sinbad was working on the port one day he saw that the boat was a ship was coming near the port and it was full of merchandise merchandise means it was full of goods and things and sinbad was at kwe kwe means uh, sinbad was at the kwe means where was sinbad sinbad was at a platform where the uh, ship it unloaded the goods and cargo cargo means load of goods or things carried in a ship means the things and goods which are carried in a ship are called as cargo and he was very happy to see that on some of the boxes there was his name written he went to meet the captain of the ship captain means he went to meet the leader of the ship but the leader he did not recognize sinbad means the leader he did not know who sinbad was but after that sinbad went and spoke to the uh, leader face to face after that the 
captain came to know that he was sindbad and he was very happy to see that sindbad was alive and after that the captain gave all the things and goods of sindbad to him from the goods that he thus got back sindbad presented the most valuable items to the king of the island saying please accept this your majesty you have been very kind and generous to me the king was pleased he too gave sindbad many valuable gifts when sindbad left the island with the merchant ship now when sindbad got all his things all his goods back he first went to the king and he told that king please take this valuable items i want to give you this because you were very kind and generous to me means you were very helpful to me and you were very good towards me the king also became very happy and he also gave many valuable gift to sindbad when sindbad was leaving on the ship back to baghdad so if you want to know what happened with sindbad afterwards you can read the story of his fantastic voyages you can read the arabian night story book so you will come to know that what happened with sindbad so students we will meet in the next class with a new topic till that time take care of yourself and be safe at home thank you